All right, everyone, I am headed to a new park today that I've never been before, and that is... Oh, Dollywood, hell yeah. And I'm so excited to go to this park. Lightning Rod is there, I'm so excited to see, because a lot of people say it's as good as Steel Vengeance, if not better, some think it's worse, but I am excited to try it out. I know it's gonna be a short ride, but uh, the quad down at the end, I'm just really excited for all of that. Thunderhead, very excited to ride that GCI. Uh, Tennessee Tornado and Wild Eagle and all the rest of the coasters that they have there. So very excited to check out Dollywood. I've been to Silver Dollar City so many times, so it's gonna be interesting to compare the two. I'm about to get my car for the eight hour drive by myself, blah. I'll see you at the park. Look at that. Like, Woo, it does a roll into a, a, the hill. This is awesome. Like seeing it in person is like Damn, look so much that. bigger. Woo. Pretty awesome. You're, you're half and half. It doesn't open you very much. I know, right? <laughs> My gosh, lightning rod looks so good. Yeah, look at that hot rod. <laughs> First time on Lightning Rod! Oh my gosh, so excited. Thunderhead was really good, like probably one of my favorite GCIs. I couldn't believe it. Um, I also did Lightning Rod earlier. I know I didn't get the reaction of that because I had to do it a couple times. Uh, it definitely blew me away, met my expectations. Uh, I'm excited to do it later on tonight. I think it'll be more warmed up and better, uh, but the quad down is fantastic. There's also this uh, airtime hill that's tilted in the middle that's pretty fantastic. So I've done that. Mystery Mine was the big surprise for me. Mystery Mine was great. Um, just the uh, first experience on it was fantastic because I didn't know what to expect. And so not seeing any of the POVs or anything like that and then riding it, the couple of the drops were a complete surprise for me, especially the one indoors toward the end. Um, that ride is just phenomenal. I, Silver Dollar City, you need to get one of those. Uh, but besides that, I mean, I've been hanging out with Mike, uh, Tom, and Curtis, and it's been a great time. I met OK Coasters earlier today, so shout out to him. He does some great content if you haven't checked it out. and. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited for ERT later. I also did this thing. I hate drop towers, and it was pretty like it was intense. So it, it definitely gave me a scare, and it was it was pretty awesome. But yeah, everything so far has been great. I really like this park, and I'm excited to show you guys tons of footage that I'm collecting, uh, including from the lightning rod uh, behind the scenes tour. So hope to have some more next. <laughs> <laughs> the Dragon Flyer is one of the more intense rides here. Wildwood Grove area here at Dollywood and it is really themed well. Um, there's tons of Christmas lights and just tons of color. Uh, actually the tree that you're looking at right now, uh, that's the new tree that they put in uh, and the whole area is just stunning. So uh, you definitely got to come and check out the new Wildwood Grove area. And I put some clips here just to show you guys uh, what the area looks like. It's pretty cool.
So I just did Tennessee Tornado and that was a janky ride like that was weird I don't even know how to describe it. the loop didn't even seem like it was shaped correctly um, The g-forces were strong. It was just a janky ride. and I actually really enjoyed it um, I'm not sure where it would rank. I'll have to think about it all later. I, I'm gonna get a night ride on this too um, I did front seat and the ejector air coming into the brake one was disgustingly good actually like um, I'll have to do it again. It was just awesome. So um, I'm going to head over to Wild Eagle, I think, or Fire Chaser and do one of those for the first time. So. So I am back at the house and it's actually like a whole week and a half later. My phone died at Dollywood, unfortunately, and so did my camera. So uh, didn't get any more footage after the ride on Tennessee Tornado, but I did get on Wild Eagle and Fire Chaser Express. Both were amazing coasters. Really, the lineup at Dollywood, there isn't a bad ride. I mean... I loved every single coaster I read. I was not able to do uh, Blazing Fury, and I didn't do Whistle Punk Chaser as well because, you know, I, I'm not that uh, hungry for credit. So <laughs> I don't really get on the kids' rides. I don't really care to do them. But uh, I did get on Dragonflyer, and that was surprisingly good. Like, the forces were actually really strong on that ride, and it's a family ride, but I thought it was really fun and kind of intense. I, I know using the word on a family ride intense is kind of weird, but... I, I found it to be a little bit intense. Anyway, I really enjoyed my time in Dollywood. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we were able to get a full hour of ERT on Lightning Rod, so the weather thankfully held off and stayed warm enough to do the full ERT, so I am very, very blessed to have done the trip. And overall, it was just a really fun experience. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. I'm going to be having tons of content as far as reviews, a full rankings of the coasters at Dollywood as well, and maybe a video predicting the next coaster coming to Dollywood. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, thank you for watching. And as always, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to Destination Thrills, the destination for all the latest theme park news and content. I'm going to go get some turkey. It's Thanksgiving, y'all. Have a good one. Bye.